Welcome back everybody to my Watch Dog Legions playthrough on PlayStation 5. This is part 8. Yep, that's 8. And in this installment, we are doing the mission called the Whistleblower, which is part of the SIRS mission storyline. Now, DeadSec received an anonymous SOS signal. So we're going to search out the source of the signal and see what's going on. So with that being said, let's get into it. All right, so we gotta investigate this distress signal that we came across, and it is way over yonder. So, we, how far away is that? We'll pick this up when we get back over there. All right, so we're coming up on the signal now, so let's just see where we gotta squeeze into here. I'm here, what now? There doesn't seem to be any obvious peril, does there? Have a seat and I'll ping back the IP, sending us the distress signal. All right, so let's have a seat and see what happens. Uh, miss? You're five seconds before I snap whatever this thing is in half. It's a cryptophone. It's secure. Every device on CTOS can be compromised. If we're overheard, we're dead. Both of us. Who the fuck is this? Not important. What matters is that I have inside information on SIRS. And I believe the people who framed you are rogue officers. And loath as I am to say it, dead sec may be my only hope to stop them. I'm intrigued. All right. You got me attention. Good. I hit coordinates to a meeting place on a device in that establishment. Ooh. Bagley, Sabine, can you give me the rundown? All right, that's a wrinkle. So this SARS bloke says Zero Day are a bunch of Secret Service... Dickheads, I mean, I suppose it does make sense. The bombings were too sophisticated for randos, but SIRS could pull it off. Officially, SIRS, or the Signals Intelligence Response Service, uses surveillance data drawn from CTOS to identify large-scale terrorist and criminal threats. Then they send Albion to shoot the threats in the face, for example. And in the wake of escalating violence in London, the SIRS is extending the right to use lethal force law enforcement and Albion securities. Unofficially, SIRS uses your data to read your mind and arrest you for having naughty thoughts. So we have means and opportunity, which leaves motive. SARS are fascist pricks, but they're supposed to stop groups like Zero Day from doing terrorist shite. Why cause one? When you meet this guy, ask. All right, we're gonna meet the contact. All right, so I gotta meet the guy over there. All right, so we gotta meet this contact. Ah, shite. That CS cunt's not here. And it looks like there was an altercation. SIRS may be onto him. If you get access to the area's surveillance infrastructure, I can rebuild the scene in AR. All right, I'll give it a go. Oh, how convenient. I already broke into this. I'll show you how I completed this puzzle right now. And that's how I completed it. So, let's get in here. That's 
Please, damn it. Now return to the scene and I'll reconstruct what happened to our contact. That appears to be our contact. Jesus. Yes, it certainly doesn't look like his best day, does it? Analyze <laughs> the clues in the AR workspace to find out what happened to him. This is a non-lethal weapon, so odds are he's still alive, though he oh, may not good. want to be. They've taken our SIRS contact away, but they may still be nearby. I can reconstruct the vehicle's path from unsecured CCTV recordings. That should allow you to follow it. That's so cool. You knew that. Alright, let's follow this AR vehicle. Construction's nearly finished. So's our contact if you don't hurry. Oh, I'm hurrying. I guess he went in there. Down here somewhere. It looks like our contact's assailants stopped here, but I can't see them nearby. Let's analyze the data to see if we can find out where they went. CTOS AR, data reconstruction in progress. Oh, Our contact's assailants are switching man. vehicles to elude pursuers, which is standard operating procedure for private military perks like Albion. Mercs? Huh. We thought they'd be serious. What can I tell you? They're mercenaries. If you keep looking, you might find out why they're interested in an SRS whistleblower. I've completed a thorough analysis of the vehicle and concluded it is a van. <laughs> ha ha. What else? <laughs> well, I could also mention that the minute traces of sand in the tire tracks indicate that it's been on a construction site recently. But you know me, hate to sound like a smart ass. I love Bagley. I've been scanning nearby construction yards for Albion activity and, long story short, some dozy git has forgotten to turn off the security camera in the makeshift torture room. Let's see it then. Uh, uh, I'm not who you think I am. Uh, 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 you're Malik, a SERS officer and a leaky fucking twat. Uh, 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 uh. Me. I swear to God, please, please. If that beating keeps up, he's going to die, and we're going to have no idea why. Bagley, coordinates now. Bagley, coordinates now. All right, where are we going? All right, we're not going far. I think they're not like that hill. in here 
Duly noted. I will take that. Hey, relax, relax. I'm fucking dead sick. You called us. That's right. Of course. You shouldn't have come here. I don't know for sure I've betrayed them. Seriously, we just saved you. No, you've just damned us both. Uh oh. Look, um, I'll upload the intelligence onto an anonymous FTP. They'll explain everything. How about you explain everything? My name is Richard Malik. I'm an intelligence analyst. I believe Zero Day are rogue SIRS officers who framed you for the bombings to seize power. Now they're murdering or blackmailing anyone who threatens them, which now somehow includes me. All right. We'll see what Bagley makes your intel. Don't make me regret this. That I can't promise. We're getting in some deep, serious stuff right Malik has made his way out, and now I suggest you do the same. They set him up perfectly, dude. I'm gonna take him out. Alright, can I get out over here? Get up out of here. Let's see if we go up this way, if we can get out. Looks like it. Somebody 
he saw me, but I don't know where. He strikes me there as a good go. man trapped in a bad system. We should check his intel at least. All right, one second. Better review the intel and then muster up the troops. All right, Bagley? One done. All right, now with espionage 101. Whoa. No, Sirs is all hardcore shadow government deep state assholes. We can't trust our eyes and ears here. We have to walk away. Oi. All right, I gotta get to a team meeting back. Beg to differ. He needs our help. May I present the third option? Just use him. An SIRS whistleblower, even one you don't trust, could still help us find the arseholes that blew up half of London and framed DedSec for it. You don't have to invite him to your birthday, just use his information. Good plan. Fine. All right, we'll pick this up when we get there. All right, let's get this briefing. I'm here. Are you ready to begin? Here's the gist. Malik's intelligence checks out. A rogue faction of SRS officers framed DedSec for the bombings to consolidate power over the government. But now they've noticed that some people are standing up to the new order, and they're blaming you. I believe these are the people you call Zero Day. I don't know their names, but it's safe to assume they have a ringleader. And in my experience overseas, removing the leader... Roy, stop the leader, stop Zero Day. But why are you here now? Two weeks ago, a shell company connected with Zero Day's operations imported 40 kilos of Semtex from an old Soviet bloc depot. But it never left London. Which means Zero Day is planning a bombing that will make those earlier bombings look like a bonfire. And I think I know why. As we're all now painfully aware, false flag attacks are a common propaganda tool for despots. Kill a load of people and the rest fall into line behind whoever says they won't let it happen again. In this case, Zero Day. Which means we both want to discover who's pulling Zero Day strings and stop them. We need to get hold of the personnel dossiers of anyone connected with the earlier bombings and their cover-up. Then Malik and I can analyze their common connections and work out who's in charge of Zero Day. And I'll be on the comm to observe. So if Malik's right, Zero Day are some kind of shadowy cabal of spies who blew up half the city to secretly take control of the government. But now they're pissed off that someone's standing up to them, so they're going to do it again. That's awful. I agree. You'd think they'd come up with something besides another bombing. Bit of a double beat, isn't it? Sabine, do you think Zero Day is doing this because of us? Because we're standing up to him, you know? Cut that victim-blaming shit. I'd rather get blown up a thousand times than lie down just so some wannabe tyrants can stamp on my face. All right, we gotta hack into the Sir's headquarters, so we'll pick this up once we get there. All right, I need one of these to carry my big ass up there.
where are these guys gonna go? Okay, so he's just going there. We're gonna take this guy out. He, nope. All right, Spiderbot, do your thing. Oh, I'm not even in the right area. Oh, it's a case out over there. Crap. Alright, I'm gonna get this guy once he comes around. Nope, he's going back that way, okay. Even better. Let's see what we get to uh, observe here. Ooh, it gets called Spider-Bot. All right. All right, what are we doing with old Spidey-Bot here? So this is Filament. Impressive. I can help you break in, but we're going to leave a trail. Unless, of course, Malik has an idea. There. I persuaded Filament Security to log that Spiderbot's activity as system maintenance. Thanks. But if I was a wiser man, I'd be wary of a helpful spy. It's not like the movies. Spies aren't the police. I believe in working with the lesser evils like DeadSec to protect society from the greater ones. So why did Zero Day kill all my friends? Another... There are differing schools of thought. There it is, right there, okay. And then there's another one on that side. There we go, unlock that. All right, thought there's something up there that I'm missing. There we go. Ah, we can unlock that. That shoots over there. Oh god, oh god, hey, I made it. Alright, what's going on up over here now? Rotate that, rotate that. Keep the trend going. Zero day dossiers. There we go. Now, if no one objects, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Good work. No, please. Yep, I'm getting out. Okay, bye. Those dossiers. What now? Right, so we do a simple CTOS contact analysis and work out who's in charge of Zero Day. I'll have it done before you can say Guantanamo. I'll handle the classified data, thank you very much. It would be so much faster if I worked with you in order to do this. The people in these dossiers are connected, but not necessarily complicit. It will take intelligence expertise to separate the wheat from the chaff. And when I discover something actionable, I will contact you. He's disconnected. Pleasant fella. He is rather pleasant. Alright, so now what are we doing? The honey trap. I have Malik for you. Alright, put him on. We have to meet. There's been a complication. I can't access the files you stole. Hang on. What? 
The files are locked, and a moment after we got them, I received this. All right, let's go meet Mr. Malik. But I want to look at this video file that he just got. Oh, there it is right there. Hello, Richard. We see you're trying to find us by looking into our associates. That's a good idea. Hope you don't mind if we borrow it. Who was your masked savior, we wonder? That's not creepy at all. Alright, we'll pick this up once we... Hello, uh, oh, oh, pff, we it's gonna play again. I've sent Bagley the coordinates for a meeting. I hope I don't need to explain why this is a priority. Alright, we'll pick this up once we get to where Malik's at. Alright, so we're coming up on the spot where Malik's at. And here we are. Just casually wait. No, don't get up. I need a high ranking SIRS officer's biometrics, eyes and fingers. No, no, we don't have time for this. Keep your voice down. The data was encrypted. And Bagley can handle that. Not faster than I could, and I've tried. It's hopeless in the time we have. Look, if you don't help me, zero day wins. And we can't have which that. Means we all die. Fuck me. <laughs> Fingers. I need some ice in a hacksaw. No. High res photos will do. <laughs> the problem is, it has to be the acting Home Office liaison. And Sirs will burn their credentials if they're attacked. It's protocol. So you'll have to get them the old fashioned way. Yeah. Torture. Christ, no. <laughs> Develop a relationship. <laughs> get someone close and uh, take the photos covertly. All right. Easy enough. This part of the craft can be ugly. Send someone who can handle it. First, he wants to hacksaw him off, and <laughs> he wants to torture the dude. Could you give me a hand here, Bagley? I suggest you begin your relationship with the SIRS Home Office liaison the way you would with anyone, by meticulously poring over every detail of their life and hunting them down. I'm listening. The SIRS Home Office Liaison is the bridge between the government and its intelligence service. Their office at Downing Street would be a good place to start your relationship. That's the move then. All right, we'll pick Auto this up once we get there. All right, here we are. The SIRS Home Office Liaison works here, but I'm not seeing them on any unsecured surveillance. Ah, but their assistants here. Start by hacking them. Grant. Let's see, they said hack them, so let's try and get there by just getting inside the building. There we go. And, oh, we're out of range. This? Nope, this one. Nope. You can take that and shove it up smug, unlectable Still out of range. No, no, don't say that. Alright, let's uh I need to get spider butt in there, but this Oh wait this we should do the trick perfect nothing to see here just a CTOS drone hanging over your head <laughs> Complete. 
Got they'll it. scarper or they'll kill you for sure. Sixteen email threads indicate the Home Office liaison is a right lush. She spends most of her time down at the Three Hawker Boys. If you want to seduce, sorry, start a relationship <laughs> with her, that's as good a place as any. Send me the location. Done. All right, so now we gotta go seduce the liaison. Good lord, all right, so. We'll pick it up once we get to the bar, I guess, I'm meeting them at. I have no idea. Alright, here we are. That's her. Do I just walk in here? Yep. Easy as this. You know, Plato said there's seven types of love, and, um... Ah, oh, fuck. I'm shit at this. Oof, that's how you treat a one-liner. I shudder to think of what you do with two. <laughs> Goodbye. Christ, it wasn't that bad. Went well, a bit tight, aren't you? Oh, I'm in a great mood, actually. It's just that I'm wasting my scant leisure time fending off the advances of a haggard swamp creature. Fuck you. Not even in your wildest dreams, sweetie. <laughs> I'm still learning the nuances of human interaction, but my analysis indicates that you aren't her type. Bang on, Bagley. Thank you. Quit your whining. There's plenty of fish in the sea. We've got the biggest saltwater aquarium in town. At least one of our fish is bound to be fuckable. I'm listening. Just try someone else. Maybe a woman this time. All right, so we got to swap to a female operative. Okay. Um... Sure. A little rough. Yeah, let's go with the let's go with the spotlight. Like that she's got Bond. James Bond. Hello, hello. Dead sec needs your help. Got it. Alright, here we go. Do your thing, Spy. Do your thing. Oh, real quick. Did we match on that invite thing? If we didn't, I'm going to have their CEO killed. Best not. That was made up, yeah? Ah, uh, careful who you fib to. Someone almost died. Honestly? Probably worth it. I should say. Shall we move this conversation somewhere a bit more... private? Oh, my! I didn't know you could do that. Uh, oh. What other secrets are you hiding? Hand me that lamp and close your eyes. I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Apparently she took her to bed. Okay. That's one way to get fingerprints. <laughs> so after all that, did you acquire the biometric data? Yeah, of course. Once I fucked up the dickhead with the lamp, I took pictures of pretty much whatever I wanted. Brilliant work. What now? It seems you'll have to maintain the ruse a bit longer. The upload is still going and I have an incoming connection from the liaison. Put her on. Enough crap. Who the hell are you? You're working for the Russians? China? Fucking America? What, you can't guess from my lamp smashing technique? Oh, do shut up. Oh, do shut up. Upload complete. There we go. Malik is on the line. I'm sure he'll be very grateful and polite. This will have to do. <laughs> we can meet at Westminster Abbey to discuss the results. And I wanted to say, you performed somewhat better than anticipated. Was that supposed to be a compliment, mate? He's disconnected. Ah, oh, piss off. All right, so we got done with I that. Could get What's used the next step? Resistance fighting for dead sec. I'm a natural. You wouldn't have been recruited if dead sec thought you'd be killed that easily. Oh, thanks, Bugsy. Hey, wait, you got beef blood? You'll need to get used to Bugsy's dribble, but it's proper fun. 
Fantastic job. All right, hunting zero day. I've marked the meeting location on your map. Don't hurry. Ta, Bagsy. Oh, of course we're going way back there. All right, you know the drill. We'll pick this up when we get there. All right, here we are at Westminster Abbey. I guess he's just in here and around the corner. All right. You've arrived at Westminster Abbey, final resting place of noted cousin fucker King Edward I. <laughs> is that relevant, Bags? It is if you're... <laughs> it is if you're our cousin fucker. <laughs> I have to walk away. I haven't slept in 76 hours. I, I can't do this. You're just tired. No, I'm afraid. I know who runs Zero Day and I don't think I can beat her. You don't have to. Just give me a name. I'm not asking, mate. All right. I'm trusting you with this. Oh man, we're getting in deep. My analysis indicates that Zero Day is led by the current director of SIRS Counterterrorism, Emma Child. Ooh. Legend has it she's the reason that Gorbachev survived the coup in 91, but more than that, she's my friend. She mentored me through my first field assignment years ago. Yeah, I still reckon I can take her. Wait, <laughs> wait. There's always a margin of error. If you go after Emma and I'm wrong, you'll have her and Zero Day to contend with. Confirm it's her before you do anything. Yeah, we'll be careful. Be right. Or we'll both be dead. Don't be careful. Be right. And this is getting good. I hate to agree with a career snoop, but Malik's right. We need to tread carefully here. This is the head of SARS fucking counterterrorism we're moving against. Yeah, for real. Emma Charles just a lead until we got something on her. Okay, I can live with that. So how do we find her? Bagley, fill with those SARS dossiers we stole and find names from Charles' team. We can hack their comms and find out where she is. Done. Oh, aren't you clever? But we can't just wait around for them to slip up and blab Emma Child's location. We have to make them slip up and call a meeting with her. So we do something big, something old school dead sec. Really scare the shit out of them. Emma Child is the head of SIRS Counter-Terror, which coordinates operations with Albion out of the old MI6 building. So if we were to break in and leave a message that we know will get back to her... Sounds wicked. Let's do it. I like it. Hacking an MI6 server file. Let's go. All right, we'll pick this up when we get across the bridge. All right, that's going to do it for that installment. And things are starting to get crazy. Like, we literally have to break into an old MI6 building and hack a server. I'm super excited for this. So make sure you come back on the next installment so we go ahead and get into that. Um, if you like uh, this current installment and everything I did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and burst this bubble to subscribe for more content. Down over here is going to be my most recent upload, and up above that is going to be something that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. And remember, be kind and love everybody.